Senator Benson was on the Texas state ballot twice, once for the vice presidency and another time for a re-election to the United States Senate. Last night in Austin, he conceded that he had lost the vice presidency, but he announced victory in his race for re-election to the Senate. Wonderful to be with our friends. We're just delighted to be home in Texas. I've about given this voice away crossing this great country of ours, but I, uh, I'm so pleased to be home with our family and, and uh, with, with this packed room and the room back there where they can't see us. And I know uh, this... There they are, they can Well, this evening is still early, but it's not... <laughs> Boy, my voice is just about gone. <coughs> the last speech was at 3 o'clock this morning at a rally here in Austin. We, I think uh, yesterday we did four states and eight rallies and I don't know how many interviews, that sort of thing. It's been an incredible experience. The evening is still early, but it's not too early uh, to claim victory in my re-election to the United States Senate. returns are not complete, but they sure are conclusive. And I didn't want to wait a minute longer to thank the people of Texas for their wonderful and generous support and their commitment to me. I'd also like to make a comment about Mike Dukakis. He and I waged a campaign that's worthy of the American people. told you the truth, then we stepped up to those issues. We challenged America to do better. We fought fair, and we never quit. And we never lost our faith in the truth. That's what you need in a campaign. I have never seen a candidate that worked any harder or in those last three or four weeks delivered a message any stronger than did Mike Dukakis in those closing days. And he made me proud to be with him. He made me proud to be his running mate, and he made me proud to be an American. 
But right now I want to focus on Texas, because Texas is our home. This has been an unusual campaign. I recognize the difficulties that you had to go through as friends of mine and supporters of mine. I think truly unlike any campaign that's gone before. Every hazard was there, every difficulty was twice as hard, and victory is twice as sweet in that Senate race. And your efforts are very important because there's still a lot of work to do. A lot to be done for this great state of ours that's really taken some hits. Been through the one of the toughest decades in the history of our great state. But we all know that the people of Texas have been through those crises before. From the Alamo to the Dust Bowl to the Great Depression, the boom and bust of the energy industry, we have always solved those problems. And we've always come back tougher than before because the people of this great state, they have spirit. They're risk takers. Move back. Call it any time you want. They're risk takers who work hard to overcome any adversity and to build for the future. That's Texan. Our state is rich in resources, but our richest resource, the people that I see before me and across this great state of ours. Bea and I have spent most of our lives working with you, with the wonderful people of this great state, to, to create opportunity and justice and prosperity for all the people of this state. We have a secret weapon in those battles, the support of friends like you. To know that we've earned your support, that you'd be here tonight. And we had some of them at 2 o'clock in the morning this morning. Can you imagine that out there? But that's the great reward of public service, to have that kind of support and satisfaction from you. It made us realize how rich we are in friends, how much you mean to us. So I want this last word in this campaign to be a word of thanks to you, to all of you who have made it possible, who have given us the strength and the kind of support to run and to win. Thank you very much. Thank you.